Welcome to part 2 of the Minecraft Crack server. This time I'm going to show you how to port forward, which is really important because, you know, otherwise you can't join it. So this will be in the description. Just click on it, and it will get you to a direct, direct link to um, the setup.exe. Once you've set it up, blah blah blah, open it. Hurry up, hurry up. This will come up. Except not these, because these are, you know, mine. Anyway, um, let's see. First of all, this, um, window will come up, and it's, it's actually really helpful. Um, it tells you what you should do. So, number one, update the router lists. might take a while but you know uh, even extracting languages oh hey 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 where'd all my no I don't want to do that again oh okay that's okay alright so never next one select your router and login info so there's a bunch of them. Chances are at least one of these are going to be yours. Mine is a Westel firmware. Westel Verizon 327W. Double click. Check. This is for pro only. You don't need it. Choose which ports you need to forward. Alright, now here's what you do. Add custom name, whatever you want, TCP, 25565 to 25565, refresh this, so that it gets the right IP address, add, well, I can't do it, but then, because I've already got, um, I've already got that down, but you know, okay, so say your IP address is 1.5, oh, what? oh, well, Anyway, you basically do that twice. After you add the TCP, you add the UDP, 25565, 25565. You have to have both of them, see? TCP and UDP. So that's done. Update the router. And it is updating. Just press OK. It'll probably put your password on for you unless you have unless you select your own but most likely you have not selected your own password not many people do really at least I don't and I am updating my router this might take a while Wow, this takes a long time. Oh, uh, I think I'm almost done. I stand corrected. Yeah, just press OK. I'm pressing Enter, in case you didn't know. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. So now we're done updating the router. So basically, you can do this all from Internet Explorer, but then this makes it really fast. Alright, so now that, that works. So, last part. The part to check if it works. The moment of truth. And listening, checking. Oh, come on. It's honestly not that hard. But for some reason, this thing won't do jack. Oh well. I can close that, huh? Alright. Come on. Hurry it up. Well, I know it works for me, but... I kind of wanted to show you an example. Are you serious? Is it just because I'm lagging or something? 
Okay, whatever. I'm pretty sure mine works, but, um, if it says it works, right here it will say, um, success, and success. If both, if they fail, then something has happened wrongly. Oh, hey, see that? Now it works. Check the second port. Check the second port. Up. Oh, success and success. If it was failed, um, you did something wrong. But anyway, simple as can be. Um, you know, choose the ports. Add custom TCP random name two five five six five two five five six five. Do that for TCP. You add it, and then do it for UDP another name, and you add it. I can't do it because I've already got these two there. But anyway, that's how you um. Ah, that's how you do simple port forwarding. Now you don't you don't need it again. You may need it when you're um. IP is updated. That happens occasionally. So now the moment of truth. Now that you've got the um, ports being forwarded, now you can try and enter your server. Which it should work as long as the the um, simple port forwarding said success. Now I'm just waiting on my Minecraft. Are you? Whoa. Whoa, serious lag. There we go. Oh my god. Two Minecrafts. Oh my god. Hey, don't close. And... Success! Well, it's not really much to celebrate about because I already know it's gonna work. Alright, so now you've got the simple port forwarding down. Congratulations. Ow, that kind of hurt. Now, for part three, it's kind of optional, but plugins is part three. Plugins makes this, um, makes servers fun, makes it different from single player. If you want, um, SMP and survival multiplayer, you don't need plugins, but I highly recommend them anyway. They make the game so much more fun. And oh my god, why can't I get these worlds in single player? Seriously, let me. Let me go look around. Let me go look around. Uh oh. What the? Lag much? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh my god, I can't see. But that's not a cave, that's all I know. Let's check in. That's nothing. Oh, yeah, still the coal and everything. Pretty awesome. Okay then, um, that's all for part two of the how to create your own server. You've got your simple port forwarding down. Thank you for watching. Go check out part three.